Hey foodie fam, Jessica here, and welcome back to Food for Young. Today we'll be taking you behind the scenes of Chef John of Fada Sandwich. Hello and welcome back to Food for Young, where we highlight local chefs within our foodie community. I'm Lauren. I'm Jessica. And I'm John. So John, could you kind of give us a little more information about what's the first sandwich? We have these sandwiches here that I really love. And today I think you start with the ninja. It's a two-day process in the pork belly that we braise and then we do some really cool stuff to make it really crispy. Then we glaze it with our sweet soy glaze that we make in-house and then we also have a spicy miso lamignoli, some fresh cilantro, and there's like a lot of different flavors. And I guess ready to take a bite. Oh my god. And this is like one of your best sellers. Like all these are like your top three faves, right? It's a poor belly. You know, you can do so many things before the baking comes from it, so you can't get any better. I love how it's a little bit fatty, but then the sauce and you know the the vegetables mm -hmm. kind of like the flavor kind of combination. Because of that, there. of course, you need yeah. some acidity in there in order to cut back with the richness very good. of the belly. Have you always wanted to be a chef? Yes, since I was a little kid, actually. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so like you have this. Kids, oh, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a firefighter, a cop, lawyer, doctor. I always wanted to be a chef. I always loved food. It came easy to me. I was blessed with my mother that she's an incredible cook. She was never shy, you know, and not all our travels. I asked her, you know, I was, I was always hungry. You know? <laughs> so, yeah. so she'll be like, I see a really cool logo. Let's say really a logo. That's what it was about. Oh, I'm hungry. No, you're not. We just say, well, I'm hungry. And it would have to be, we would have to stop with it. It was a taco joint, you know, empanadas or empanadillas, as they call in Puerto Rico. Um, <laughs> just anything that caught my eye, I wanted. Would you say you were destined to make badass sandwiches? Also I with believe the so. <laughs> I mean, thank you for asking me that. A lot of people think that we just started with a little food truck and sandwiches. I mean, I've traveled, lived in New York, not this big yard, not kid. You know, up and down the East Coast, doing new restaurant development, and like, you know, really uh, working with really high end ingredients, right? So when I met my wife, you know, I pretty much started badass out of necessity. You know, I was tired of playing with tweezers. I couldn't travel anymore, <laughs> and all that stuff. So what happens? You know, we're in Puerto Rico, and she's like, "Hey, what are you gonna do? You haven't worked in a while." I'm like. So you want to open a food truck? I'm like, we can try it. And then, not gonna lie, two beers in, I'm like, hmm, how about we just call it buy that sandwich and we put in a pasta for you between the S's. Oh. And she's like, really? And I'm like, people will buy it eventually, you know? And he's badass, you know? How was it starting off with like as a food truck? It was pretty difficult at the beginning. People didn't understand the concept or the name, of course. I remember, oh my God sweating in this big black box. In the back of my head, I'm like, eventually we, it will become something special. And it did. You know what yeah. I mean? And yeah. we're blessed to say that, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. And like honestly, like from food truck to now, like two locations and growing, what do you think helped make your style cooking so different that helped you adapt and kind of create your, you know, more in the community? That's a good question. That sandwich could be anything. Really. I'm using the bread as if it was a plate. So early when I was making the sandwich, you know, some sandwiches, I was like, I'm plating this, you know, and we selling it as if it was a normal restaurant because technically, like I said, the bread is the vessel. And then you make the ingredients and you make sure that the ingredients are something special and then the bread becomes special, if that makes sense. The second one, okay. the second sandwich, um, it really intrigued me because there's so many different things in it, right? Um, so can you kind of tell us a little bit about, about the second sandwich and what we're going to expect? This one is called a hangover. Okay. okay. And for our viewers out there, <laughs> I could see that Eureka moment. So, you know, it is definitely a Eureka moment. So it's it's funny, it's a phrase, you know, it's like when we started the food truck, a lot of people think that food truck food back then was like either munchy food for the stoners, right? I'm over <laughs> food for the drunks and whatever, right? So never I don't think food truck were taken serious until just recently, you know what I mean? That started with sushi, pokey and things like that out of a food truck. And it's a liver explosion, bacon, crispy onions, and he has a raisin aioli. It's really weird. People raisin? get to raisin. raisin. I'm gonna explain to you why. So he has a lot of components that people look for: crunchy, salty, sweet, smoky. You know the egg because he has that richness, right? So the raisin is just another way to add sweetness to it versus adding sugar 
or adding something heavier, I feel like raisin gives it that almost molasses type of flavor. Like that cut in between. You got it. Like we really encourage and we really challenge people, hey, try it out. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And a lot of people are like, oh wow, it really works well with it. You know, it might sound with the different flavors. Raisin, right? You might not sound like raisins. Raisin. They're like, hey, you know, people think raisins, prunes, you know. <laughs> prunes are not appetizing, people say, right? <laughs> so it's the same thing. So people might get turned off by it and you know, we're trying to change people's mm -hmm. minds and educate that you can do so many different things with so many so different like ingredients. Different you got it, exactly. You know, the flavor spectrum, right? I'm like, Let me know what I'm, you think. My mouth is watering. <laughs> Describing, I was like, this is my I'm already eating it in my head, actually. With the same, with the way we build them, you need to build, you yeah. need to flip it. So make oh. sure that you have the cheese in the bottom. We cook in layers, you know. Like my grandma used to create the flavor, same thing with the same thing. And every layer is important. Every, you, you got it, every layer, exactly. So excited. Okay. Mm. 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 That raisin. You're right. You can taste a raisin. There's a little it's bit of sweetness. A it's little very bit of sweetness. Subtle. Very mm -hmm. subtle. You taste more of the bacon, the pastrami, the yeah. crispy onions at the end, and then the sweetness. But the first thing that you get is the hobarty, which is super buttery. Exactly. You know what I mean? And then you work your way up, you know, with the then pastrami. You little... Then you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, if you try that sandwich upside down, it tastes totally different. And people say, people look at me like I say, I'm dumb. Hey, try it out. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> If you don't mind my asking, like when did you know you were gonna like open your first restaurant? Like that jump from food truck to restaurant, that must have been really tough, right? Very. The transition from a food truck to restaurant, nerve wracking, mm -hmm. of course, but at the same time, I want to have peace because people can relate to sandwiches. And it's delicious you know. sandwiches. Like Thank, you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Do you have like a favorite memory uh, within your journey? Through COVID, that people were losing their jobs left and right, and we were able to hire people. It's really cool. We also did a food uh, food drive back in uh, December 23rd, we called it uh, Nurturing the Badass. And we did like a food, you know, <laughs> like a literally, a, 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 literally a drive through where people were coming in and they were getting little cakes, they were getting coffee and they were getting bad dinners, you know? So that's, to me, that's a super memorable journey that I'm proud to say. What is your favorite thing to do or favorite hobby shows or what do you like to do in your free time when you're not? I work seven days a week, at least in the morning. So to be honest, we have my favorite place. So I, I like working out. I like to be at home with my dogs. Aww. You know, I have a senior dog. His name is Whitey. He's blind. Aww. You know, he may not have much longer, you know. And how things are out there, you're not supposed to be really going out much, right? So I like to, you know, I go to the driving range every so often. I go to the gym pretty much every day. And then I go home, cook, wow. you know, and hang out with my dogs. I have a very simple life. But I love traveling too. Traveling? I, that I love. I hate flying, but I love traveling. Do you have any, you have any places that you are on? My radar next, I, oof, that's tough. I, we just got back from New York. Oh, oh man, we were going, since, we were going up on average of seven restaurants a day. Wow. You know, and it's awesome. Yeah, I think I want to go back to Puerto Rico. We went to Puerto Rico about three months ago, mm -hmm. and the culinary scene over there is my god, it's <laughs> you know, like they have, they, they really know how to like create dishes. Like, when you take a first bite, just like Peruvian cuisine and Asian too, you know, that you take that first bite and you got like boom, right in your face, you know? So Puerto Rican is different, of course, in their own category, I guess, right? I've been looking at this one too. Um, and I heard that this one has like a little bit special story because it's one of the resurrected sandwiches, yeah. is that correct? Yeah. Okay. This was actually started out pretty much as a special um, that we put on the menu. Mm -hmm. We took up the menu. People complain. They even give us a couple of bad reviews about it. Badass is so inconsistent, man. Like, you know what? We put it back, but we put it in the boat as resurrected because technically resurrected and it's been here for like two years. You know what I mean? Wow. And with this one, when you take a bite, it's gonna feel like you're really in a steakhouse. You know, it has our house roasted ribeye, you know, uh, caramelized onions, dehydrated mushrooms, a blue cheese cream, crumbled blue cheese. But the cool thing about it is we put crispy potato chips in it. Lots of it. So it resembles like, you know, the steak and potato dish with like a little bit of that blue cheese. And I can find it really, <laughs> really, really good. And we sell a ton of these. Is yeah. there a way to eat this one too or no? Not this okay. one. I'm not ever doing <laughs> you know? <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Mm. 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 That one is a happy dance. <laughs> 
So in the beginning, you will get the blue cheese because it's more fun, right? And then you get the beef, then you get the bacon. The very end, just to get a little bit of the punch of the chip. And it's know? so subtle too. Like Thank sometimes, you. usually in um, burger places, they really push on the chips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can really feel it. In yeah. your body. <laughs> in your body. This one adds like a little bit of crunch and mm -hmm. then it kind of like everything kind of just. You got it. It's like, you know, you think potato, steak, you know, bacon. Like all in one. All in one. Yeah. We started it out with filet mignon at the beginning. Oh, wow. That we would freeze and then we do thinly sliced, but it didn't have the right amount of fat mm -hmm. for a sandwich. You yeah. know what I mean? It would be too dry. So we didn't like that, you know? So the inspiration would just come up with something. I really simmer on it for about a week. Try it out, try different variations. We've created over 120 sandwiches at this point, which is crazy. Wow. I don't think you've documented it. Yeah. Yes, we do. We, <laughs> we, do, we do. We do. We have an Excel spreadsheet oh, wow. with all the sandwiches, yeah. you know, yeah. That you've ever gone through. Yes. You know, of course, like we have the Poseidon one, two, and three. The surprise segment is the lightning round. So we'll be asking Chef John a series of this or that questions, and he would just kind of say whatever comes to his mind first. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Sure. So sunrise or sunset? Sunrise. Watch sports or play sports? Um, watch sports. <laughs> um, relaxing vacations or jam-packed trips? Oh, relaxing vacations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, ketchup or ranch? Oh, crap. Ranch. Ranch. We make it here. It's um, pizza or tacos? Man, tacos all day long. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Cats or dogs? Dogs. It's all the way. Road trip? <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> Road trip or fly? Oh, fly. It's more convenient. Summer or winter? Where's the water? Summer. Summer. <laughs> See the future or change the past? See the future. What can you expect in the future? More locations, for sure. I wanna, I really wanna employ more people, to be honest with you, you know. Good people, you know, and the best thing about this journey is, and I've thought about it the whole time, is how many people you can impact and or help in your, along your journey, right? So that's what it's about. These sandwiches are literally so, so good. Definitely check out Badass Sandwich. Yeah. But thank you again so much. We really appreciate your time, your effort. Your delicious sandwiches. Definitely come here to check out Badass Sandwich. Until next time, thank you so much. Bye. <laughs> thank you guys. So okay. let me know whenever you're ready. Yeah. You need any ketchup or anything? Any what ketchup? ketchup. No, no. Ketchup, ketchup, ketchup. Oh. Ketchup. Do I <laughs> Makeup. <laughs> Aww. I'm good. So when you try it, it really is like. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh. So you're gonna edit this. Yeah.